Welcome to a brand new video series. In this series, we will discuss and implement the most important aspect of the mobile app delivery, the CI CD, or also known as the continuous integration and continuous delivery. This is the introduction video, so do expect some theoretical part in it, but I ensure you we will see all of it in action in coming videos. But first, we need to set the stage for the entire series and that's why this video is important. Also, I will show you how to create a simple Hello World GitHub action for our Android application. Let's dive in. I have created these slides for reference. Let us go through the agenda of this video series and then we will take one item at a time. In the agenda, first we will discuss what is CI CD and then we will see various CI CD tools available. And then the most important aspect of this uh, slide is the CI CD architecture for the Android application that we will be following. And then I will introduce you to GitHub Actions by creating a sample Hello World GitHub Action. And then we will begin to set up the complete pipeline that we will discuss in the architecture of the Android app and then we will conclude. So let's start with what is CI CD and in that first we will talk about continuous integration. Imagine you have 10 developers working on an application code base and all of them are creating commits in their local machines. But we need an environment or a process where we can integrate all the commits from all the devs and check their quality. And that's where CI or continuous integration comes into the picture. Generally in continuous integration, we check the code is compiling or the test cases are passing and also do some static code analysis of the code and finally create an artifact to test the app. And this ensures that all the code that is coming to GitHub Center repository that is correct and it's working as expected. Now that we have understood what continuous integration means, let's discuss about continuous delivery. As a business, we want small time to market, meaning we want to ship features to end users as soon as they are developed and tested. The process of delivery or up, uh, sending the app updates continuously to end users is known as continuous delivery. So once CI process is complete, then we can begin the continuous delivery process where we'll deploy our latest application. Now let's discuss about what are the most used CICD tools that are available in the market. First one is Jenkins, which is widely used. Then we have GoCD. There is Travis CI as well, which is uh, heavily used in public open source projects on GitHub. And then we have GitHub Actions, which we'll be talking in detail in this series. Then we have Circle CI and Bitrise as well, and there are many more. Now let's uh, dive into the main topic where we want to join the CI CD architecture for the Android application. We'll be using a sample application, and for that, we'll be designing this flow using GitHub Actions. So let's say uh, whenever a developer pushes the code, on to our central GitHub repository. We will start the CI by running the lint check first. I will use Gradle commands for all this. So we'll run the lint check and generate an artifact where we can see uh, 
what our checks has passed or if uh, there is anything that is failing then once that is done we will run our unit test cases which will be our j unit test cases and th those will be quite fast so that would uh, be a uh, first step after lint and once that passes we will run our instrumentation testing which also requires uh, an emulator and generally we ri write instrumentation tests using espresso and after this check passes we will do static code analysis using sonar cube we will set up a public sonar cube server on the sonar cube cloud and we will use that for this project and the good thing about static code analysis is it tells you if you are introducing any uh, technical debt in your code base or if you you are not following certain uh, clean code practices all that you will come to know in this and you can also set up some quality gates where you can say uh, the threshold of uh, tech debt should not be greater than this or that there are certain uh, rules that has to be met and once that is done we will package our application we will generate the apk file and we will publish that on the github itself as an artifact and then we will run the functional test cases there are multiple ways to write functional test cases you can use apm or calabash or we will use apm for our purpose and we will pass the packaged apk file to these apm tests and run them and once our apm test passes we will deploy the application so that qa can take it and start testing the features so this will be the entire uh, flow of our CI/CD, and that's what we will be implementing in our coming videos where we will take one check at a time and try to create it using GitHub Actions. Now just an introduction to GitHub Actions as well. So it's fairly new, not many people are using it, uh, but it's growing rapidly. And the good thing is, it provides you all kind of machines to run your checks on. It provides you Ubuntu, Mac, or Windows machines. And for public repositories, you can use 2000 action minutes per month. That is freely available to you. And that's what we'll be utilizing in this particular video. Now let's create a simple GitHub action and we'll just call it hello world and this is the application that we'll be using uh, for our setup and this application I created a few years back I, I used this application for creating uh, a series on instrumentation testing as well which is available and description to which you can find in the description below and let's use this for creating actions as well and I have already created few actions but uh, what I'll do is I will delete this so that we can create it again okay let me do a delete on this so that we don't have it yeah so we have deleted this one now let's go to action step because I had already created one, so no worries, uh, don't mind this. We'll just create a new workflow again. And there, there are many templates that are available out of the box, but for our purpose, we are just creating a simple uh, hello world GitHub action. So we'll set up ourselves. So once you do this, you will see uh, this file that is generated for us. And this is a workflow file called main.yaml and all the github action workflows you will find under .github folder in this workflows repository. Let's try to understand uh, what's written in this file. So first of all we have the name of the workflow which is CI and then we have few events that we can configure. So basically we want to trigger our workflow on push on the master branch 
or whenever someone creates a pull request on the master branch. And then what job do we want to run? What kind of task do we want to run as part of our CI? And for that, we also need to specify which machine we want to use for these tasks. For Android, we can definitely use Ubuntu. And uh, since it's a sample action as well, it will just print Hello World. So Ubuntu will, just, uh, will work fine for us. And the steps that we want to do as part of this job, the build job, you can define multiple steps in a job. And the first step that we want to do is we want to check out our code base. So basically what it will do is it will take this GitHub repository and clone it on that Ubuntu machine that we have, we have specified here. Once the code is checked out, we will be running this step. This is the name of the step, run a one, a one line script. Basically we are just running a echo command which will print hello world. And then the second step is to run a multi-line script. This is the name of the step again. And this is uh, the script that we'll be running, uh, which is doing nothing but doing an echo, uh, which will print these lines. Now let's save it. I'll create the commit. We'll just keep the name same. And uh, remember that uh, we have uh, defined two events. One is push on the master branch and one is pull request. So the moment I create this commit, it will start running the check. So let's do that. I created the commit. Now if I go to expense manager and on the commit, you will see there's a yellow dot. And when I click on it, it says that some checks haven't completed yet. And to see the details, I'll click on this and you will see that our action has passed. The first thing it did is uh, set up the job, which means setting up the machine and doing all those things. And then checking out the code base. This will uh, check out our code base. And once that is done, it will start running our steps, which is run one line script, which prints hello world, because we just did echo hello world. And then a multi-line script which prints these two lines that we saw earlier and then their post run and uh, the job completion In job completion it does some cleaning up of the machine where it uh, cloned the code base so this is a simple uh, github action a simple hello world action it will run whenever someone creates a pull request on this repository or pushes a commit on this repository In the upcoming video, uh, we will see the entire workflow that we discussed in more detail and we'll start with the lint. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope uh, you liked uh, this introduction video and if you liked it, do give, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the upcoming videos. Till then, happy coding. Thank you.